Okay, you've probably been told you need to start an Amazon business, or maybe you've watched videos on YouTube with some dude throwing a $10,000 stack of bills at you. Well, the truth is, I don't think anybody who doesn't have some level of experience with reselling needs to get into Amazon right off the bat. Is Amazon great? Absolutely. But you should not start it if you're new to reselling or you're new to selling online. I'm about to tell you why. Hey everybody, thanks for coming back. Thanks for coming back to the channel. I really do appreciate you watching. Uh, I wanted to address an issue that I see a lot in Facebook ads and a lot on YouTube ads and it's how to be successful on Amazon. Anybody can do it. Get started today with no experience. And to an extent that's just pretty much true until you look at the all the outlying reasons why you should not begin selling online with Amazon. Just left one of my favorite thrift stores. Uh, sourcing some items for eBay found found a few really good items uh, and the reason I bring that up is because I would strongly suggest that everybody who wants to get into resale online and choose a platform to start with eBay and the reasons are many and pretty simple we'll go over those and over those in a few minutes when I get home uh, get back to my office and yeah, be right back. Look, I really love Amazon. Okay. My daughter and I, we sell a lot of books on Amazon. We ship a lot of books in Amazon. We sell the books on Amazon. We do some amount of retail arbitrage and send in Amazon. Uh, the whole clearance, uh, big box clearance. I mean, we, we love Amazon. Amazon's a really, really good platform to sell on. My problem with all the people who push Amazon on new resellers, people who are just getting into their hustle, so to speak, is they make it sound like it's a no fail probability. There's, there's no possibility of failure. Uh, I'm gonna throw a bunch of money at you. Now you need to click the link on this uh, YouTube ad and go to my webinar where I at the end I'm gonna sell you my training for Amazon And that's that's fine if people put together good training and and take their time and they're honest There's absolutely nothing wrong with it But I don't think Amazon is Should be taken lightly uh, I don't think you should go into Amazon with Zero experience Okay, by that, let me explain. If you start with eBay, you can go to any thrift store and you can source items to list on eBay. Buy them cheap, sell them for, for a profit. Simple math. Take out your fees, your shipping, if, if applicable, applicable. Uh, it, it's really easy. If you make a mistake while you're doing eBay, eBay will basically give you a slap on the hand and say, no, don't do that again. You make the second mistake, the third mistake, the 40th mistake, eBay will slap your hand and say, don't do that again. Uh, it's very rare that you ever hear about anybody getting their account banned, losing their account, anything on eBay. All right. So you, you can afford to make a few mistakes. That's why I think eBay is the platform that new resellers should concentrate on first. Get into eBay. Get used to shipping things. Uh, I mean, with Amazon FBA, you don't technically have to ship to a customer, but learn how, th how the things work. Learn what's expected of you. Uh, as, as you can use eBay as kind of a, a crash course to Amazon. You know, there, there's a lot of similarities. There's a lot of things that are completely different about the two. But start with eBay. eBay you can go around your house, you can clean out your closet, your garage, your workshop, 
find things that you no longer need, want, and list them on eBay, sell them. You know, ship them to your customer, start building some feedback on eBay, and you're off to the races. And I suggest continuing to do eBay even when you just go for Amazon. Because really, eBay, we have a, almost as much profit come out of eBay or maybe more than we do Amazon for an equal or less amount of work. Does that make any sense at all, y'all? The biggest problem with just getting started on, on Amazon is Amazon does not give you the slap on the hand and say don't do that again. You can mess up with Amazon the right way the first time and they'll shut you down. It's over. Okay? So, my suggestion to everybody is eBay and while you're doing eBay, start learning the rules on Amazon. Learn the rules, consume a lot of content on YouTube, uh, your social media, your Facebook pages and things about Amazon, Amazon FBA, if you want to do Merchant Fulfilled. Uh, I always I suggest FBA, but that's my opinion. Uh, I suggest that you, you start building with eBay while you're studying the blueprints for Amazon. It's much better to get started on the right footing and go into something and know what you're doing, have a good idea, know the rules, and know what's expected of you selling on that platform. Because the last thing you want to do is start right off the bat and get your account destroyed, get your account shut down for, for making a mistake. Now, I, again, I don't mean to scare people who are thinking about going to Amazon because everything has rules. You know, you, there's, a, there's a way you do things, a right way and a wrong way. If you want to use Amazon for a vehicle to make income and you're serious about it and you want to start, it's not a big issue to learn the rules, to watch some content, to, to figure this thing out and know what you're doing when you start. If you don't, if you don't want to take time to, to learn rules and what's expected of you, you're probably not taking this very serious to start with. Another thing I'll pass along is once you sign up, you sign up in your Amazon account, you do everything necessary to become a seller on Amazon, you download your Amazon seller app, and you're, you wanna get started. When you sign up, don't wait two or three weeks or a month before you send a shipment in. I would take that first shipment, let's say you do like what we did, we started with books, and still books is by far my favorite thing to sell on Amazon. The return on investment is ridiculous and the cost of goods is very low. So anybody can get into it. Man, you can go to thrift stores and find books for, some thrift stores I go to is a quarter a book, uh, a dollar a book. Go to a Goodwill, you might have $1.99 a book. But you have an app to show you if it's a good book or not and if it's profitable. Well, don't wait a long time after you sign up before you ever send in your first box of books. If, let's say, your first few few days you're you're only finding, let's say you find 10 books, 8 books. Put those 8 or 10 books in a box. Follow the Amazon directions. Make sure you do everything the way it's supposed to be done, from putting your barcode on your books, to packaging your books, and shipping your books to the nearest fulfillment center, or the fulfillment center that it declares you need to ship to and get those books out. Start to work on your next order of books. Ideally, in the, in the, in the perfect world, it would be great if you had 100 books to send off the first time, but that's not necessarily gonna be the case. But if you start a, an account with Amazon, a seller's account, and you go two weeks, three weeks, a month, two months, and you don't send anything in, you're still learning, and you don't send anything in, they'll shut your account down. The same thing happened to me, and Amazon is really strict about this. I, I signed up for an Amazon Associates account when I started my affiliate marketing websites. And 
I started it before I had any traffic on my website, so nothing was being, no traffic was going to Amazon from my website. And a month went by and they shut it down. And they'll do the same thing with a seller but account. Learn the rules, learn what you need to do. You've got people, content creators on YouTube for Amazon. I'm gonna be, I would suggest, and I will, I'll put uh, links to them below, to their channels below. The Bearded Picker, and Reezy Resales. Reezy Resales has tons of comment, uh, tons of content on book selling. Beardy Picker has a punch, a punch of content on retail arbitrage as well as eBay. And there's another one. He's really good with books and such too. And he does some eBay content. Is Raking Profit. I'll put those down below. If you if you're not on anything right now. Uh, and you want to get started, I, again, I suggest you start with eBay to learn the ropes. All three of the above that I just gave you are really good YouTube channels to get content from. And I'd like to add another one. It's Rally Roots. It'll be in the list, too. That's four that I will link here. And Rally Roots is primarily eBay, primarily uh, clothing and shoes. They do sell other things. But yeah, if you go to those four and you consume content and you do what they're, what they're telling you and you join a couple of Facebook groups, uh, go to Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter account, start a Twitter account. Search resale, search eBay, search thrift. Find people in there who have those hashtags in their, in their bio. Follow those people, then go to their followers and everybody in there who mentions something about eBay, Poshmark, Amazon, follow those people. You'll you'll learn from those people. Uh, I like to learn about people's mistakes more than their success. Because anybody can tell you they're successful, like the guy I was talking about who throws money at the camera and tells you, buy my course and you'll make a million dollars the first day on Amazon. It's I have a lot. business that I've had for... 10 years now in a field that I've been in for 25 years and I have to travel a lot with this business this apartment that I'm in I'll rent this apartment because it saves me $400 a week on a motel room I can get this apartment monthly payments and the light bill power bill utilities water all that stuff is included for less than half of what a motel costs and I'm over here a lot so I tell you that because while I'm on the road and I'm working, there are a base within driving range of here, four thrift stores that I go to. And I'll go in those thrift stores, I thrift things for eBay, and I scan books for Amazon. My daughter, Cece, she's my business partner. She's back at home, home base, in our resale barn, as she calls it. And she's working from that end. So we've got it going from, you know, two different things going all the time. And our eBay and Amazon is growing pretty, pretty good. But I'll be honest, there are things about Amazon that, that are different from eBay. I think Amazon selling on FBA, as far as the task at hand that you have to take care of, is far easier than eBay. And you don't have to stop. You don't have to have room to store a bunch of items. But that's why we bought our building. We bought a 12 by 34 building that we use for nothing but our eBay listings. We, that's where we store everything till it sells. Amazon, you just buy it, pack it up, ship it in, you're done. They'll store it, they'll pull it, pick it, pack it, and ship it. Store it, pick it, pack it. Yeah, that's right. And, uh... You're done. You put everything in one big box, two big boxes, however much stuff you have, and you send them to the fulfillment center at Amazon. It tells you something, you're done. But just be careful and have a leg up and understand the rules. There are rules about what you sell, such as if you're selling something on Amazon that's new, there's no question about new. eBay gives you the opportunity of new open box new without tags things like that amazon new is new it better look it better be new it better be in a box that looks new if the corner of the box is wrinkled up or crushed a little bit it's not new you don't send that into fba because you'll get your account gigged over it uh 
there are certain things that <clears throat> that when you're scanning you'll find out that you're gated on toys and 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 certain shoes and and different things you'll be gated on it means you're restricted after you sell a while you can you can uh ask to have restrictions uh removed and we've done that so far and we're about 50 50. you know you will have to provide an invoice paperwork saying where you bought the stuff that's the, all that explanation explanations for another day but it's all doable but there are rules and you have to understand these rules and understanding the rules is it's not a big deal it's not like you're trying to like you're trying to learn the, the federal tax code if you guys anything. like the video i hope you got something out of it uh don't be scared to to go in and start your 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 online presence your reselling business uh like i say if you've never done anything before i str very strongly suggest starting with ebay and after you start you'll you'll understand what i'm saying uh, is Amazon learnable? Very much so. And you can learn it fast. You can learn the rules fast and you can get up off, off your feet and go with it and get, get, I mean, you can do great with it. But just be careful, know the rules and understand what you're doing when you start. And uh, if you like the video, I'd appreciate it. Hit the like button. Uh, if you're so inclined, you can subscribe and hit the bell icon where you've got a lot of really newbie oriented stuff coming up. Uh, things we've taken notes ever since we started, things that we have both failed and succeeded at. So I'm quite sure you can learn from our mistakes a little bit. Maybe you won't make the same mistakes. Uh, but yeah, until next time, I appreciate you watching and you have a great day and God bless.